What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our career here on EA Sports PGA Tour. If you missed the last episode, we finally made our way to the Open Championship out at St. Andrews for the old course, and we got through rounds one and two, and it was actually a very surprising start to the tournament. The, there was a lot of really low scores being shot out there. I think the cut line was like three or four under. It was pretty wild to see. Uh, not something you typically see, but the weather at the Open in St. Andrews was pretty tame for the most part the second day saw a little bit more wind but it was it was really really scorable out there and i can't see much change to it to go, going into the weekend as you can see the leaderboard here our score is a little bugged i believe we're about six or seven under par so i'm not quite sure why the graphic is showing us at even but the leaders are at 12 under that is a ridiculous score for this tournament but nonetheless uh, we know what's ahead. We know it's going to be a grind. It is a major tournament. Uh, there's still 36 holes to play, so we still got lots of time to potentially close that gap down and come out of here with our first major of the year, first major of our career, and end off the season before the FedEx Cup um, playoffs start in really fashionable style. So uh, without further ado, we're just going to dive right in here. It should tell us, yeah, our score is currently uh, six under. So we're six strokes back. Wind is pretty manageable, you know, four to seven mile per hour is nothing that's too crazy out here at St. Andrews. And we're just looking to get off to a hot start. We, uh, you know, we played some holes pretty well. Uh, we also played a couple holes not so well. So looking to clear, clean up a few things. We're going to have to lay back a little bit on some of these holes because the ball is flying a mile out here. And it obviously being a link style course, you have to deal with the run out. You have to deal with the ball going an extra, you know, 100 yards on every fairway shot. So made some mistakes early. Uh, that graphic is horribly wrong, but beautiful, beautiful look here at St. Andrews, and we just need to get off to a, a, a good pop and start. Drop some birdies early, put some pressure on. There's the correct score, six under par. Uh, that kind of freaked me out a little bit when I logged in and saw that we were even... Um, but thankfully that is not the case uh, we are gonna have to club down because we made it to the water twice um, first round we had driver it rolled out into the water second round we were right up against it so got to make sure we're not taking that into effect today uh, and yeah just looking to get off to a, to a really really good start here good t-ball there just just a nice little hybrid don't need anything crazy and uh, see if we can't drop a birdie here on number one it's probably one of the more easier Holes out out at St Andrews, but I can't believe we've uh, we've reached the end. You know, it's pretty pretty wild to think that all the all the hard work, all the all the tournaments we've gone through to get to this moment, and now we're looking to just piece it all together. So here we go. This looks like a beautiful shot. It's going to roll back a little bit too much. Oh my gosh, it almost one-hopped into the hole. So I think we left ourselves at a pretty good uphill good part. Shot. I think and if you were a little past the pin, it probably would have been a much harder putt. But this should be pretty uphill. It this looks like it's going to be footer. not too much break. Maybe a tiny bit. Let's have a look from the other side of the hole. Again, major championships. These videos are going to be a little bit longer. We're going to take our time on a lot of things. I mean... If I'm not mistaken, this looks like it's only going to break just a smidge up the hill. It's going to be pretty straight. Oh, my word. It was just a tiny bit more. I may have even actually, you know, pull, pulled that one just a, just a bit on the backswing. I was a little fast with the tempo. But we'll get off with a nice, safe, secure par, and we'll move on to number two. But I mean, what, what's there not to like about San Andrews? It's, it's obviously such an iconic golf course. Uh, you know, every Open champion that has won here, I think, would agree that this is the place you want to win an Open championship. And we're lucky enough that we're starting in a season where it's being played at San Andrews. But here we go. In a bit of but, um, if that Play a little bit of a fade into this wind. Maybe try and uh, green, try and get some extra roll out. From the right side. This looks to be pretty solid here. Again, it, it's hard to really judge because once it hits the fairway, it's like Another hitting a rock. Nice it's just gonna hit. It's just gonna hit and move for a long period of, of time. But as we continue to tackle our fourth and final major, guys, I just want to give you all another shout out. Uh, we're, I believe, 20 f subscribers away from uh, course, from 500, like which is third. kind of mind blowing to I me. You guys have absolutely been crushing it. And I can't thank you guys enough. You guys have been showing love on all the, the single player games we're playing, 
showing love on all the sports games. We're obviously starting the new F123 game, which has been an absolute riot to play. Um, but if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, smash that button. Let's get to 500 as a community. We're only going to be able to continue to grow from that point on. They've actually changed their partnership program to B500. So there's a chance we could get uh, partnered here shortly and uh, and really start up in the quality and, and everything that, that goes along with, with all these things. All right, here we go. Up the hill, left to right again. Don't need to kill this one. First birdie of the day drops at number two after a beautiful putt. We are we are all smiles here early in St. Andrews. And yeah, I mean, these guys are getting off a little bit later than we are. And I was when I saw day two that the cut line was where it was at, I think it even got to four under at one point. I was shocked at that. I mean, don't get me wrong. A course like St. Andrews, the, the Open in general, would never play as hard as the U.S. Open. When we were at the U.S. Open, it was it was so chaotic out there. But we are now in contention. We are we're in a good position. We might be you know five back at this point, but still tons of golf. Another great drive here. This one should roll up pretty close to the green. It's probably going to stop short of this little mound. Another couple of yards. Hey, that's yeah, it doesn't have enough legs to get middle. quite up the hill, but all in all, still a really good tee shot. It's going to come back to a flat part where we should be able to put another wedge on it. And I mean, that's really the name of the game is if you can get control of your wedges out here, the greens aren't overly so fast. Right around the middle of the fairway, um, this we will second. need to club up again because of the wind. We do. We are dealing with about seven to eight mile per hour wind. A little bit of an underswing, but that tempo was beautiful. Get some kick. Yeah, a pretty good putt. I mean, we're almost pin high there, just past. We should have another uh, straightforward putt and another chance to go back-to-back -back birdies here. Chunks. It's really all you can hope for. He has a 12 -footer here. This one looks like it's doing the same thing. Is everything just going to be uphill and, and left to righter? I think it's everything. It's just going to be a left to righter. I think it's going to snap pretty hard at the beginning. You kind of see my feet are quite below at the beginning, but then it looks like it kind of flattens out as it gets. So I'm going to play for... About a cup, a cup and a half out to the left. And have it straighten out. Just like that, right in the heart. Uh, Let's go. This is the start that we needed to get off to if we want a chance of climbing back into this. Also, one thing you guys might notice is I finally got my beautiful new uh, laptop in. This was something that I've been wanting for a very long time. Uh, just for, you know, everyday use and, and things like that, but also for editing. So I have Final Cut Pro on there. Uh, there's going to be a lot more edited videos on the channel. This one is not, uh, it's never been one. It's kind of just record and, and play. But if you guys have been watching F1, uh, the latest video that should be going up here at the time of this recording in the next 10 minutes, um, it's all edited on this and there's a lot of cool things I can do and I have a lot of a freedom to do a lot, a lot of things easier. So some fun, fun things coming up for you guys. That was a little bit of a miss hit, but it should still find the fairway. Yeah, it'll kick out of that thick stuff just up on this little mound, which might trickle it back down a little, little bit of an unlucky one hitting so much well, into that, that fescue. 50 off the tee. Rough, but fairway. it's still a safe shot. I guess it was more we got a 50, long 50, way in here. This is such a tough, tough pin placement. Me, on the middle, the in between the split green yes, there, or the shared green, but in the, the down the hill in that little gully. So that's, I mean, green, I don't think we can do much more than a, than a five iron. Five iron would, close. anything more, three iron would sail. I don't know if six would get there. This is a delicate shot. Take a little bit off. Because it's going to come in nice and hot. Get a good kick out of the rough. Sit, 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 sit. Ah, she's going to bleed out the back there, but not bad. Uh, again, not not a ton I can really do with, with a five iron. I probably could have played a swooping shot, like a high fade or something. But realistically, that's, uh, that's an okay shot in my books. And so now we'll just flop it over this hill. I can't play. Not enough green to work with, so. Beautiful shot there. Couldn't ask for much of a better uh, flop shot. Gives us a chance for a very makeable par and continue our round here. So down the hill to the left pretty severely, actually. So we want to make sure we hit this with a good enough pace where it's not going to just die to the okay, left. And we got a good off. scorecard so started, ladies and gentlemen. Four. And he's going to remain at eight under. 
Leaders have not yet teed off. Hole number five of the first par five we've seen today. This fairway looks like it narrows quite All a right. bit, Frank. Are you thinking evil when you step up onto the tee? Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze behind you. But um, it, it's quite wide in the driving area, with the exception of those three bunkers on the right that just sort of pop So as we approach this middle part of the front nine, there's definitely some scorable just, holes, but there's there's a lot of holes that you actually have to be very careful with. This is... This is a very obtainable par five, but if you find yourself in one of those fairway bunkers, I mean, any of the bunkers out at St. Andrews are just a nightmare, but especially when you're dealing with the ones in the middle, like the ones on the right there, you basically have to use a 60 degree fully opened in your stance to even just pop it out of it. And this is what I was afraid of. Just too much club down the left side. I was a bit slow, which means I tugged it a bit to the left. That Long is a bad drive, leave right there, ladies and gentlemen. We should have a good swing at it with the hack shot. That is a shot that we've reached recently rearranged some points to get, but I don't think we're going to hack out a three iron because if I get a flyer lie in any sort of way, then it's just going to be, it's going to go past the green into the, you could, you can't really see it on the caddy card, but there's a lot of very big hills back there in the rough. It would be even harder from that point to really get the ball on the green. So we'll hack this one out. This should catch the fairway, whether it stays up on this hill, it lands perfectly soft so we should have a nice little you know i don't know 75 yard shot I, I think we can take a full 60 on, on it five. we can take a 60 but we're gonna have to play this one about 90 yards and let the wind just finesse it back just a little bit to where we could get some more spin on it here we go good shot uh, it's, i've hit it exactly where i said ah just that's the thing around here. It, okay, it seems like right for how fast everything's playing and how fast the putts are, that it should this be doing more. Feet. Uh, this is just downhill on the right or left the whole way or uphill no, left the whole way. It just feels like there should be a little bit more bite on these these wedge shots and there just isn't. It's kind of fooling me a bit. I keep wanting to club up because of the wind. Go in the hole. You betcha. What a roll there. That is in Ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely He's firing in round three here at the Open Championship. And like I said, I'm, I got to think with the wind being tamed for the third straight day. This is three days at St. Andrews where the wind is so minimal compared to what you can get. I got to think those leaders are shooting, shooting low rounds out there. All right, we're just going to look to go... About the 100 yards would be absolutely monster. Let's get a good tee shot here. Kind of underswinging everything today, which is a little weird. I also am not quite sure why the swing plane is on, but there's no tal like no mark at the top where it should be. Not quite sure what that's all about, but I'm not gonna let it affect me. We're gonna be ending up turning that off here probably by the end of the season <laughs> anyway. So it's hard to believe we are getting very, very close, ladies and gentlemen, to the end of our first season of our career mode here. And uh, it's been a great season. I mean, like I said, we have three PGA wins, two filler wins, so five total. Still looking for that fifth, the first major at the fifth and final major. So that's a great shot there, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean, if we keep playing like this through today and tomorrow, there is a very legitimate chance that we could walk away here with the Claret Jug. This is mind-blowing how well I feel like I'm playing around St. Andrews. Uh, yeah, well done. Hey, look, it could have been the two, it could have been the two week vacation down at the the tropical tropical resort golf courses that. Uh, <laughs> that really set us up for coming to uh, to England. But like I said, I mean, out of the majors, uh, this one is probably the one that I wanted to win the most aside from the Masters. Obviously, the ultimate goal in this game is to win a green jacket. I mean, I, I think I'll keep playing the game until I complete that, that feat, uh, however long that might take. And this is one where I'm glad I looked because we are going to club down to a three iron and completely take that bunker out of play because there's no way I'm... I'm trying to get it back on the green from down there. A little bit of a weird follow through, but it should be nice and safely aboard. Go up the left side. It doesn't even get past. Okay, I, I misread that caddy card. That's my fault, ladies and gentlemen. I thought the rough was 
the rough was where we landed and this was all fairway it's not this is actually rough here at seven this is second and from we got 149 to the pin i think i'm just gonna try and muscle out this nine iron i think we can get it there we got a decent lie not great but not terrible Made good contact. If it sits soft, it's a really good shot. Oh my word, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I, I want that trophy. I want that trophy. Excellent shot. All right. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. This doesn't look like it's doing much, even though it's pretty severely below my feet. What, what does it look like from the other side? It's moving, but I can't see it moving that much up the hill. I gotta just think that it's I'm on a, like a little ridge. Ah, yes. Runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. This and is unbelievable. A shot of the lead. This is unbelievable play right now. I actually legit don't right know what the hell is going on. And how challenging is this hole? I have it's not so felt this confident with the controller in my hand all season. That's not, that's including what we did at the players. This is, I mean, we just got to keep it going. There's no point in early celebrating. All right, we'll take a nine iron here. This is an in between the shot. Because it's downhill with wind helping us. I can't use an eight. It'll sail. This might not even be enough club, but we're just gonna we're just gonna hit and hope. Yeah, even that's too much club. All right, that's a safe shot. Middle of the green. Uh, it's it's nothing fancy. I probably could have played a finesse shot with like a with like a nine iron or something, but this one is I'm just gonna hit it. I know this green is pretty flat. You can see it in the bottom left corner. It says it's level. This one don't need to think too much about it. Just kind of hit it, get it down there. If it goes in, great. That's all right. That's a pretty good two feet eight inches straight back. We should get this one in no problem. So yeah, I mean, we've gotten off to okay, exactly the start that, that I said we needed. We have five eight. birdies here early. And we have one more on the front nine before we the make the turn. I still don't understand how the leaders are not off yet, but I feel like this leaderboard is just completely messed up, and they are, and they're probably like 16 under par or something crazy, but here we go. 368. Um, if you can carry that last one, pull the end That's hole, a good swing right there. That is a powerful, good tempo swing. The screen. This is going on the green. If anything, it needs to actually slow down. <laughs> this is going past, past the flag. Wave it on the wave. Wave to it on the way by. Oh boy. Well, this might be a tough uh, up ah, and down too here. Too strong for this hole, eh? Probably could right have pulled out the three wood. And into the rough. Big hit, All right. There we go. Flop this one back. That's a little strong too. That one came out really soft. Like I thought there'd be a little bit more resistance in that one. Another birdie. That's for another birdie, and I feel like it's gonna go a little bit left to right, even though it says we're standing level. Nope, dead straight. Wow, 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 wow. I did not see that. Did not look like a dead straight putt. Missed opportunity on nine here. It should be straight coming back. Okay, that's and that's a good score scorecard, yeah, that's ladies and gentlemen. Nine. That's a five under that front nine to put us at 11 under side. for the tournament five and in very, very good condition here. Yeah, the, the leaderboard is just completely broken, unfortunately. I don't, I don't really know what we got to do to, to fix that one. So this could just be a total guessing game from this point out at where we actually sit here. Right center off the tee, ideal here. The fairway narrows around 280 yards, but the green is drivable. Looks like a good shot shape, but it might be overcooking it a bit. Side. Should still f that, that was a good kick. Be a beautiful Saturday of golf here, and this another great shot, absolutely shot. beautiful. 370, 307 yards Just for a 90 yard shot here. Left here for his second. And this, we know we got a club up, but probably don't need a full 56. Probably like just maybe 10 paces off from, from a stock. And I've hit it hard. I have hit it so hard. I missed my mark. It tried coming back onto the green, but unfortunately not to be. That's a misjudge in my in my shot there. That was That was a very, very sloppy second shot from 90 yards out. 
Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh! What a pitch shot. Unbelievable attempt there. Seven feet left to secure the par. This is actually, like, incredibly difficult not knowing where I stand on the leaderboard. Great putt there again. Another really good par putt here. And he'll remain. I mean, I got I got to think that I'm still somewhere like I know I'm in the top 10, but it is really weird that Lee and Vegas have not teed off yet. Let's have a quick look. I think we can press start here. Well, this hole has been copied by many Go to leaderboard. The reason why is it's normally very, very difficult to make a hole. Is there any other scores on? I mean, barely. But uh, they've managed to do that. Unless, like, that stress bunker it very front, well could have just mixed it up where that I, I don't that think this game really has play. in proper does. And, uh, proper play, if, you, if that makes sense. There, like, normally, if I finish level. inside the top 25 on day one and two, I play later in the day on moving day, day three. But I don't think they do that, so they might not have actually teed off yet. It very well could just be that... I got I got an early tee time as a top 25. Stay right there. Stay far enough back. We have a chance, ladies and gentlemen, and we have found our first pot bunker on the day here at yeah, number 11. Good and I mean, to fly it to the hole. I got to add some loft on this and hope to God I hit good contact. You can't even see the flat part of the green like this is this is San Andrews. When we get it onto the green, I can't really tell where it's at. Uh, we don't even get it on the well, green. Oh, one, my the word. Moment, well, we've made our first spot, mistake here. On the green. It's in the short grass. Now let's just see. Like, this is such a delicate chip, but I feel like we can chip this one in. Oh, it, cur it curls right so hard. What a tough pin placement. Look at this massive ridge here over the left. It's, it basically all fun funnels down off. towards yeah, this bunker. This point, you're just looking to make sure you don't make yeah, it's tough. That's a, that's a tough bogey, one you definitely don't want to have. But I, I said it right at the beginning. If you can get yourself in the fairway, you have legitimate chances to pin seek. If you don't, then then you're out. Not that that was, that was a fairway shot. I just completely whiffed on the, the wedge and didn't sail it far enough and we got punished those those bunkers are are terrible very 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 aggressive bunkers but you know we erased that we're gonna club down here because we know we sailed the green last time all i've got to do is worry about that little pop bunker short but um either into the breeze or if you're not a long hitting sounded good four bunkers that are well it's will easily get past the pop bunker Come back down off this hill. Do not go up this hill. Yes. Come back down, baby. Oh, this is going to get better and better, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to get better and better, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it was just... If that was like three or four what feet right, that could have funneled all the way to the flag. The Instead, the we're just pin high on the left side here. Inward. What a great shot here. And it, this one looks like it's doing all sorts of mumbo jumbo it's definitely going to kick left to right off the start but it might straighten out once we get closer to the flag yeah actually it kept moving pretty much the whole way it wasn't until like the last four feet that it straightened out but that was for eagle so this is to get back that bogey that we just had on the last hole it's for birdie so very very good recovery shot or recovery hole there obviously very drivable took advantage of it had a good look at eagle and then settle for the birdie so i mean Play that one to textbook. We are back to one back of Here's the leaders. Hole, the 13th. It's 418 yards. hole number 13, you par 4, 418 yards here. As you see the beautiful St. Andrews core in the background the there in St. Andrews Town. That's right a bucket list material, man. I would love, not even like, I mean, being at the course during a tournament would be one thing. I think that would be absolutely incredible and an absolute pleasure and privilege to do. But just to be in the city during an event, or not even a during event, screw that. Just being there and knowing you have like a tea time at St. Andrews. And this one is another horrible leave. Michael Webb, we talked about this at the beginning. Oh, and that just did not. I mean, what do I what do I have here? Off the well, into the heavy stuff. So well, even from the thick stuff, a chance I'm not, this to is gonna go so high in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Go, go, go. 
Oh, wow. I mean, a good shot. I knew that was going to be somewhat good. I did not expect it to stop on a dime like that. Now this for another birdie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this to get to 12 under and tie the current leaders. Nope. Good effort, but that's oh, still I'm dumb. Fine. But even still, I, it shouldn't have gone that much. I'm stupid. It was below my feet. I don't know why I aimed to the left. Well, that is my own fault. But holy snap. Did you well, see, uh, like, even though I aimed the wrong way, did you see how fast that came off the putter and face to the left? Under par. Yeah, I'm dumb. I don't know why I read below and aimed to the left. We come now to the longest hole in the golf course, though it is a relatively Brain short fart at the majors is not something you really want. This the 14th. Out of bounds wall on but it didn't the hurt us, and I think that's important. Is you can you can afford to make a couple mistakes as long as you're deals. tapping in for the par. If you're ta if you're looking for the par and you make that mistake, that is that can punish you out here, punish you in any major tournament, but especially this around here. Working up the right side. Kind of, kind of stalled out a little bit here on the back Saturday nine. Haven't really had quite the uh, fine the amazing shot. run of birdies that we had on the front, dropping five in. But at the end of the day, we're 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 still even. We're five under for the day. It really isn't that bad. Still some scorable opportunities. I mean, this is a good one. That one just rolled out like 200 yards, par five. I think we can actually afford to club down twice here. To be honest with you, maybe just once. Maybe I play like a high fade. This might be too much club with the five iron, but take a little bit off. Take a little bit off. Get it to the, the front of the green. That's way too much. Holy jumpins. I should have clubbed down. I had the six in my hand, and I went back to the bag and pulled out the five. And this is going to funnel back into that bunker. Oh, Michael, you you knew it. You knew that was too much club, and uh, you still well second-guessed yourself. Good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, now we got to pick this one up, play. a massive hill. Looking at four. I hope I can get this one out, though. We're pretty close to the lip of this bunker, but... Go, go, go. Mm, not an ideal that's result. mediocre. Yeah, that's that's not my best effort I've ever had. Mean, but not where you want to be. All right. Up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. Big swinger right to left. Probably the most movement you'll see on these uh, greens on the back nine. No, I think he knew it right when it left the All right, well, uh, what felt like everything was going in on the right. front nine, it feels like I'm definitely playing a little bit more scrambly than uh, than I would have liked. But again, it's it's oh, not a bad round. It's just I know that when these leaders tee off later in the afternoon, stay? they're right. going to have there some really is. good scoring conditions, assuming that the wind stays calm for them. I feel like we got to get to the clubhouse at least at 12 or 13 under par. I think 13 under par would be a very, very good score going into Sunday to actually have like a legitimate chance to to hoist that claret jug. Otherwise, I feel like we might be too far back, but can't look too far ahead. Definitely not not even thinking about what we need to do tomorrow. Doing what we need to do in these last few holes is what I'm focused on. So control what we can control. This is another great tee shot. It might go through the fairway on the left side, but on this hole, there is a lot of room to work with you can see that the first the first layer of rough here because the video game doesn't do rough ah, correctly hall, it's right? really not that bad to be in there i mean there you go 97 to 100 we really it really isn't that much different than being in uh in the fairway and, and if anything we might be able to get a little bit more spin out of this shot so we got a 60 degree in our hand playing this about 102 the wind should help it get back to that 110 pin placement this I one's mean, looking good. Yeah, you heard him say it. That is a phenomenal golf shot out of that no, rough. I, I actually right, think like, if uh, this was St. Andrew, that shot would be buried. But because it's in this shot. game, uh, they don't Another quite have birdie. the rough. I think you're actually favorable being in the rough. Up the hill, left to right. Let's get our uh, our first birdie for under par of this of this back nine. Uh, yes. Never oh, and we got the fast tempo it's bug. So our boy is, is working in hyperspeed. Man, there's so many bugs right now in this game. I don't know what the latest patch did. Begin the it's here at the, it's the season the three for the U.S. Open. And yard par four Two boy, oh boy. U.S. Open actually just happened. I, it shows you the time between my recordings. I haven't recorded in quite a while. And U.S. Open just happened. It's kind of a shame to see Ricky... Uh, Ricky and I guess Rory in a sense also that choke. The right side. But I mean uh Wyndham Clark there is 
I, I cr credit to him to not choke that lead away, especially when you know you don't have the pedigree that some of the guys behind you have. Is it was pretty cool to watch, but it was. I'm not entirely sure I was a fan of this tournament. Um, and I don't mean the U.S. Open. I just mean in general uh, this specific one. I don't know. The Los Angeles Country Club was is really cool. I've played it in this game. They just added it in this game in case you guys want to check it out. This needs to sit, which it should. All right, not bad, not bad. A little long. It's going to be a tough, tricky putt, but... Um, the Los Angeles Country Club is obviously a very, very beautiful, like prestigious golf course, but it just didn't set up well enough for the U.S. Open. Oh, I thought it was going to turn. Yeah, it's a tricky putt because it looks like it's breaking the whole way, and it just did not. But yeah, like it's a it's a gorgeous golf course, but it plays so slow. Okay, they had people teeing off at 6:30 p.m. Like uh, I'm in the East Coast, I know LA is in the West Coast, but like having your leaders tee off at 6:30 p.m. is so weird, man. I don't know. It was just it was not the greatest viewing pleasure like experience, and the broadcast wasn't great for this one. They focused so much on certain things, and I feel like it wasn't the greatest U.S. Open that I've ever watched, but it is what it is. But now we've approached the beautiful, beautiful 17th hole here as you're cutting over the uh, the old course hotel you can see there with downtown. Oh, man, what a what a phenomenal view this is in the, in the game of golf. Iconic, absolutely iconic. You get a good drive out here. And well, there's a chance of going out of bounds. This will be smack dab in the middle of the fairway. Unfortunately, that we just missed that birdie, uh, but that, I did like that was a tricky the putt. There's no beating around the bush. That was uh, not the right spot to necessarily miss it, but it was still a good second shot, just a little bit long. Get it to about 108 yards into the cup here. From the left side I think we do need to club down. Over his second. Definitely need to club down. Probably even play this at about exactly 100 is what I'm looking to play this shot. I mean, the beautiful grandstands. St. Andrews is just... If you like golf and you don't like St. Andrews, then I don't know what's wrong with you because this is just amazing. This will be a good shot here, too. Well, I mean, I can't make this up, guys. I have not felt this in control of my game. Yeah, the back nine has been a little lackluster compared to the front, but in a major tournament, I've not felt this control, this much control in a third round of golf in my career. We will drop in for two under on the back nine. That is now seven under on the day. And that is the number that I would was hoping to get to with one hole remaining. And it is scorable if you hit the fairway, which it's all fairway. But if you miss shot and you hit the, the road or you hit the cart path or you hit, you know, an errant shot into the buildings, it makes it a little bit more difficult, which if you remember from uh, the Open this past year at St. Andrews, then you know that that has happened. You've got to swing it across the swirl and burn out of bounds on the right and beyond the screen, but it is reachable. It's more the left side that I think scares a lot of people because those grandstands cut in so much, even though it's like a hundred yard fairway. Pretty good line so Something about it is still very intimidating, but I mean, this is the only problem I have with this is I don't think it. I did not think it had legs to get up there. Drivable par four. Not for most in this field, but for this And I mean, there's the shot. Yes, he has just knocked it off. There's the what beautiful shot. shot as we walk over the ever famous bridge. It was kind of heartbreaking to see Tiger All Woods potentially day. walking over that this bridge for the last time in his career as a playing as a player. Because obviously with all of his injuries and the next time St. Andrews rolls around, we don't know what's going to be happening. Knowing him, he'll be playing, but so many issues and it was just... That would have been a fun eagle to finish with, but that leaves us with a little more than a tap in. A little more than maybe I wanted to, to leave, but we will uh, hopefully look at that front edge. Holy jumpins. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a tap in birdie to finish at eight under for the day. And I mean, I can't really tell what the hell is going on with this leaderboard because it's just completely busted. Yeah, I'm with you, Rich. There. I'm okay, there you go. So close, really. There you go. Tied, Ladies um, and gentlemen, also, how, so that's a I have Kiradek. I think that's how he pronounces his Kiradek. How the heck? We'll see you next time. He came out of nowhere, my friend. And we are Patrick Cantley, Dylan Fertelli.
this is an interesting leaderboard and one I did not expect. But ladies and gentlemen, after a probably low round of the day, eight under, shooting 64, we are now going into the final round of the Open Championship, tied for fourth and only two shots off the lead. And when I tell you my, my juices and confidences are flowing right now, I feel so ready to dive in here and get the job done as we head to round four. Four to seven, it's been the most beautiful weekend here in Scotland. And I mean, what more can you ask for? You are playing round four. There'll be a little bit of an introduction, which we'll watch. We're hoping to get our name etched onto this beautiful trophy. The signs adorn the grandstand read, everything has led to this. Hard to argue with that sentiment. For six centuries, the sport has been played here at this, the very birthplace of golf itself. And since 1860, this competition has been held to decide who is the champion golfer of the year. Oh. Past is but prologue. It all indeed has led to this. Welcome to St. Andrews and the final round of the Open Championship. I mean, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Sports. And the Major PGA Sunday Tour. is upon so us, and we don't even, not even know what the hell is going on with the leaderboard the on that government. graphic because it's so Today, bugged. But golf, we know we are starting the day at the time, two on, two back from the leaders, of the with tame wins open. for the fourth straight day. And it, I, I gotta states, think if you go anywhere close to a 64, you're winning yourself a Claret Jug. This is incredible course, stuff here. Thank you guys so much for coming along the field. ride as we continue in progress this journey. Leaderboard. Let's see if we can't pull out a major time. win here. We've, we've built ourselves up. We've gotten wins. We've so begins, been so close at two of them. Sunday, we were second at the Masters and second at the PGA. Top 10 at the US Open. And now we have a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to go home sporting a brand new Claret Jug. But there is a long day ahead of us. Let's settle in specifically but uh <laughs> and get to work know is uh, whether or not they're uh, good wedge here nervous or not because they spins it back that should be a pretty solid chance there 11 feet 5 inches and he is feeling it nice he's getting shot. the crowd right engaged the early and a pretty easy putt on the way i mean i can't see this one breaking more than more than a cup to get birdie on one and start the day strong That's the way to start the day. It is a birdie. Let's go, baby. He moves. Oh, we got. I, I got to think that we're just the. the we got ourselves in the steering wheel. Like, what is it saying? The ball is in our core. I'm going with that one. Ideal spot. You want to be just to the right. There's so many famous. Here we go, baby. But this one is well known. It's called Cheap's Bunker. There's a good drive. Really good drive. Powerful, straight down the middle. Yes. Oh, what is that kick? It should still be that fine. It should stop be before the rough. So following the birdie at that was an aggressive kick to the left. Here at the and we will find the rough, I believe. Oh, just finds the fairway. A long way down there. 362 yard drive here on hole number two. If he wants. 96 yards left for his second. All right, aim it out left. Let the wind funnel it back. Full swing. Tempo's feeling really good again here, ladies like and gentlemen. This one. And I mean, why wouldn't you like the looks of this one? Oh, baby. Shot golf course, but what an shot. Gets a little club that's twirl. The first, the last. That's puts the sword shot. in its sheath. A four -footer here, we got a four-footer four down the hill. Right to left snapper. Very, very fast. Two straight yes, birdies to kickstart yes, our round four. Major round Sunday here yes, at the old course. Oh, baby, baby two. boy. I feel no pressure. Par. This 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 tournament feels weird to me as we tie the lead at the Open Championship. This one feels weird to me. I, at the Masters, I was freaking out going down toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Rahm. Or who, who, was it John Rahm who won? Some, who was it that won? I don't even remember. It's so long ago now. But I remember coming down the wire and seeing the leaderboard constantly change and then making that bogey at 18. 
that protects PGA, you I felt uh, nervous from the get-go because I knew we were playing so well and coming in, and we came second again. Side, Held on to tough conditions, to got the job done, and then sadly the AI just beat us right at the end. U.S. Open, I mean, it's the toughest conditions in golf sports. I mean, historically. Coming here, I just feel like... I don't know if it was just those short and quick rounds that we we did in between playing some just fun courses. I don't know what it might be, but I just feel like I'm just hitting everything so easy, so so nice and calm. This is going to be right beside the pin again. Like uh, I was asking for it to go and it listened. That is a really good shot. This might be a course record day. Should I'm not even trolling. This for birdie. Okay, three nice three straight birdies, baby. For birdie here at three. He moves to three under par. or three. That's what's up. And now we are tied at the top as he birdies number one. Oh my gosh, we're going to come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. This thing, this thing is going to get exciting. This might be the most exciting major we've been involved in of the of our career. There we go. Rewarded by going toward that narrow valley on the right. But there's always a price to pay. Since Looks like a good tee shot. To go for the plateau on the left again. All about options. I think we're going to be safely course. aboard in that little narrow area that he was just talking about. With the way we've been driving it and the rollout that you get at St Andrews, I mean, why wouldn't you try and go as far down the fairway as you can? I mean, unless you're setting up for like a, a full Seven swing wedge or something like that. But Steven. here we go. He's got 115 yards to the front, 122 to the hole. And the pin oh, the this is a little too long. Green. Just a smidge too long. But it gets unbelievable kick back off that hill. Look at the contours of the green. Well, that well, ridge there. Right, that like oh, my gosh. There, is what is happening right now? I actually like can't this even explain what's happening. This is like miracle stuff right now. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. He's got it to minus 18. And we have taken the outright we lead the fifth, the at the British five Open, the, the Open side. Championship. Andrews, 514 yard hole that ends After at four that holes on round yards deep. four. Seven sisters bunkers off the tee and reaching into From being scared that we weren't even going to make the cut points. line to being in absolute dominant form here is something uh we got the fast thing again i might actually restart the game because on a major sunday i don't want this bug been sensational all week and here's a yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna, gonna uh, i know it's in the fairway I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the round we're gonna restart the game because the last thing i want is major sunday the stupid animations maybe this will fix the leaderboard if we just restart the game but the last thing i want is to you know play out Round four with our guy doing absolute turbo speed for no reason and messing up the atmosphere that is the Open Championship. So we're just going to quickly reset here, guys. Doesn't take too long. We're already loading it back up. But wow, I mean, I can't even I don't really know what's happening because, I, again, I haven't I think the secret for me and I know this might sound weird, but I think the secret for me is not playing for like three or four days before an open champ or a major championship has just somehow made me a much better gamer in this game because there's there'll be days where i record you know two videos every single day for pga stock them up release them over you know a couple weeks and i feel like as as i play more i get worse and i don't know why i don't know if it's i get lazy and i start doing you know stupid mistakes or whatever it might be but in this it just feels like everything is just firing on all cylinders and yeah it's weird it's weird but as you saw the leaderboard looked like it did update correctly so hopefully hopefully that is the case oh man oh man oh man do i need to watch this again the signs adorn the grandstand read everything has led to this hard to argue with that sentiment for six centuries the sport has been played here at this the very birthplace of golf itself. And since 1860, this competition has been A YouTube been video out, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new, my is. team career video for F123 part three. Our um, 
Our race out at Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix just went live. It's my first time editing on that MacBook that you just saw me check. I just want to make sure that it went live. Um, let me know what you guys think. The first thing I already know when I was watching it back was the audio levels are, are all over the place. So that's something I got to work on. Um, but in terms of editing, it's a lot smoother. It's better quality. It, it rendered so bloody fast. All right, we got to hit that tee shot again. So let's just pipe this one out to the same spot. And it's like nothing ever happened. And unfortunately, I somehow found the rough. So sick. That's what I get. Hack this one out here. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon. Sounded good. Our Make good contact. This Sunday is our it's a little short, golfer. but it should get He's a good kick. One I mean, that's this going to be for an eagle. <laughs> so it begins the final round Sunday at St. Andrews. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's buckle up. We could get some scoring in early here on the back. To win this great or on the front, but the back is going to be a bit of a grind. Win. That first major. Oh, yeah, down, a uh, lip out for the eagle, right ladies and gentlemen. Is this for five straight right birdies? Am I, am, I, but, uh, am I remembering this correctly? This is for is, five uh, straight birdies? Not, unbelievably nervous or not, not unbelievably they're nervous. They're not even they're remotely. They're we got ourselves to 19 hours, under par, and this just doesn't even seem like an open championship at this point. But again, I, I got to stress this so much the bunkers here, to get four straight days at st andrews bunkers, at four to there, seven mile per hour winds you have to now be so lucky and i'm not just saying oh ball like ball the game ball coded ball. it that way no 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 no. no. i've done offline tournaments or i guess online tournaments not recording where one of the days you get 30 mile per hour winds and you can't hit the ball straight or more than 200 yards we got extremely lucky that the weather in our career, and I've seen other careers online where they didn't have this much luck. I don't know what it is, but we got four beautiful days here at St. Andrews to absolutely dominate the scoreboard. So I don't even think this is that crazy of a score given how easy it is to score out here right now. Here we go. We've been really dynamite with this club today. This is short. Gets a friendly kick. Oh my word, the golfing oh, gods are looking down on us right now. The club What's wow, 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 wee wow. All right, down the hill, this, left to right. Another birdie. Oh, if that's that was so fast. Right, oh my lord, that was so fast. That left edge. Oh my gosh. I even took some off of that and it still got that down that hill. I guess it's a pretty aggressive hill. But the birdie streak ends at five as we get a par on number six. Heading to hole number seven now. What a day though, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, like I said, the guys are going to be ripping out low scores all day. So for us, our, it's an opportunity. We're a couple groups ahead of the, the, the leaders that were starting round four. We have an opportunity to, to really put some pressure on them. Last time we took a hybrid here and I was just short of the fairway. So we'll take a three wood here and this should easily get us in the fairway. Yep, I think and we'll stop before this bunker. Oh God, maybe not. Stop, please. Please stop. All right, we're good, we're good. Whew! Two more feet and that would have caught the hill and rolled down. Second 70 yards, can zoom in now because we got a finesse team. shot. Yeah, some great strategy off this tee. He's left himself short of shell bunker. Looking at a green that slopes to the right-hand side, so bite, left of bite. the flag preferable. Okay, not a bad leave. That's a good shot. Not a bad leave? That was He's beautiful. What? On this front side. This you crazy birdie. girl? Ah, uh, yes. Runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seven. He Let's go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Bar. This is our time as Laird gets the 19 under playing he alongside us. So this group is just not funneling not in birdies, and now we get to six under through seven right holes. I mean, this if might this might be a record-breaking day. I, again, I, I don't know how or why things are happening the way they're happening right now, but I feel so comfortable at this golf course. It's a little hard and a little fast. This one might even need to... Oh, it's, it's good good distance just offline that fast tempo into the wind really didn't help so 
That's okay. It's a tough hole. I mean, 203 yards is a very tough distance. Uh, and when the ground is as tough as, you know, the conditions that we've seen. Pitch this one back on. That was a weird bounce that that just got. It went boop, boop, boop. That's not an easy leave. Just five this is left. not an easy... Oops. What's happening? There we go. It's not an easy leave. It's up the hill left to right. I hammered that putt. Roll. If that did not there. hit the hole, that was going five feet past. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are still rolling. We're still cruising. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is, this is intense right now. It's like intense, but not nervous intense, which I think is weird. I feel in control, and now it's just, I feel like it's my tournament to lose. I don't, I got to stop getting ahead of myself because this is what I kind of felt in the Masters. I didn't feel this good about my game in the Masters, but oh no. Get a good kick up. That's all right. Get back in. All right, we're close enough where I can hoist this one up, I believe. For a while, but it's gonna get gobbled up by that bunker. So this one's gonna have to carry a long way. This is about an 85 shot, I think. Maybe farther, because the wind does look like it's partially into our face. It's more right to left, but I think it's partially in our face. I mean, I don't even care what the score ends up being now. This, like, I, I can't believe the, the golf shots that I'm hitting right now. This is, this is actually blowing my mind. I'm not just saying that for the video either. Like, I am... Yep, that's nice. I'm done. completely that's shocked at what I've been able to do here. Off a that is seven on birdies side. on the front nine. Seven shots under par. Starting and there's the low scores everywhere. The, the leaderboard's messed up again, but that's okay. Named in honor of the great Bobby Jones. And we enter the final nine holes. It has been 70, right what, 60, 61 holes, 63 holes up into this point. And now we're in a position where, really, we can write our own destiny. We can be a first-time major winner in our first-ever PGA Tour career at the last major event of the season. Or will our woes at majors continue? We have nine holes to figure that out. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. and this Almost got this one to the green. It might just trickle on just about. I might Texas wedge this one here for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. So from a tight line, this he is second from just short of the green. I might Texas wedge this one for you guys. I mean, it was pretty good. I got the line completely wrong, but the pace was incredible. Three feet, three inches there for another birdie. A straightforward look here for birdie. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely okay, sensational well there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we have two blemishes on the scorecard. I don't know if you saw them because they're not really blemishes. Two pars, rest birdies. We are now three shots clear of second place. And like... Yeah, this hole was made famous by the left bunker, which is called the hill where Bobby Jones, when he first played St. Andrews, couldn't get the ball. All right, this is a tough shot, though. Let's not get too cocky. Let's not get too arrogant. A lot of golf still ahead of us. Hasn't lost its luster. Club down a couple times. Oh, I shanked it. First shank of the tournament, baby. First shank of the weekend. And I mean, please come off the green. Give me a pitch. Thank you. That would have been a nearly impossible putt back up that hill. I mean, that's a 10 foot. That's a 10 foot high hill. I don't know why you fist bumped that, but. Sitting up in the short grass. This is going to be a delicate shot. Look at this green. Holy. I love that shot so much. The spinner is such a fun shot to use. But we had, we gave ourselves a little bit more than we wanted. Down the hill, or sorry, up the hill, right to left. I don't know why every time it's below my feet, I always say it's downhill. That just means we're standing higher than the ball. But it is up the hill, right to left. Par save, baby. Okay. Well done. It is a par here at 11. We're feeling good now. And the lead's gonna stay at three. Seven holes left. 
Laird trying to do what he can, playing alongside of us as the rest of the leaders that were in the lead after three rounds are nowhere to be seen. So it seems like St. Andrews has gotten the best out of a few golfers here this weekend. But long hitters can just lick their chops and have a crack at this green. All they've got to do is worry about that little pop bunker short. But either end of the Ooh, this one's sailing out left on me. This is going right for that pop bunker. Okay, we're left of it. Thank gosh. Whew. All right, well, yeah, probably could have actually taken there. driver. I, I thought yesterday we got a rate up on the green, but this hole. not bad, not bad. We have 51 yards. Can he easily just play that little spinner if we it's wanted, which is probably exactly what I'm going to do. From relatively close range. It's just such a fun shot. Oh, I hit it hard, but it should still be good. Yep, beautiful. Actually, that was perfect. It well, almost couldn't get better unless it went in the hole. Right around five feet, not too bad. Now this for another birdie. I mean, this is dead straight. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And the lead swells to four. I mean, we're talking like 58 watch, ladies and gentlemen. Now to the par four, Obviously, there's some tough holes still remaining, but the bunkers. Yeah, there the is a very real possibility that we could win our first major championship at the Open by shooting a 58, a 58 final round. It's just possible. It's possible. Oh, why did we get this? Why does this happen? How do we keep getting this fast animation thing? Once again, another great. Well, I'm, I'm not going to restart so again. This is so stupid. Go? Come on, EA. Like this is such a glaringly so obvious bug. Right side of the fairway here for this his second. Oh, this needs to go. Oh, it does. It is. Oh, it is. Oh my God! What? Oh, just a, a beautiful performance, and this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. Uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And the lead is up to a full six shots on the rest of the field. Rick, what's the strategy? What is happening? If you can't go for this uh, par five and two, Rich, um, there is another option when you can go left. And I mean left of left. That's down the fourth field. Like, that's uh, across the Elysian field. Legitimately, so, I don't know a, what's a, going a, on. Uh, I don't know how I'm getting away with some of these shots and, uh, and just playing and come legitimately as close to perfect to as I probably could play. To 14. Holy crap. If you guys watch part one of this... Okay, there is a bad break. Because that's actually a good drive that just kept now, rolling 50 yards. But the if you guys watch the rounds one and two, explain to me how I went from that, which was still good golf, three under rounds, to now possibly shooting in the 50s. It's another good shot if it stays out of the bunker, which it does. I'm actually like this is cool this is a cool feeling to me because i know what i'm capable of and i know that there's 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 days i record where i know i'm not playing well enough i know it's never gonna it's never gonna work and then there's days where uh i feel great and i'm like okay we have a chance to win this tournament this is like a i can't believe what's happening tournament and i just somehow overcooked that one this fast animation thing is really pissing me off though yeah, just the fact that on, on that, every shot you know, it looks like I'm just really, fucking I mean, crushing it is really, really pissing me forward. off. Just because, like, EA has another season ongoing right now, season three, and you're telling me they couldn't fix some of the bugs? Oh, the hands came through. But that's not gonna, that's not gonna damper my mood. Are you kidding me? Look at the lead we got Good at the U, at the off. Open Championship. If you would have told me, oh, that's a bad mm, putt, Miss Red. Oh, it's not over till it's over, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first bogey on a par five. Well, that sucks. But if you would have told me that I was going to be in the lead going into round or in round four, not even going into round four. And now we have what? A five shot lead, four shot lead after that birdie? With 
Four holes remaining. For a steeple in the distance and I wouldn't have believed you, but you just saw a bogey. Yeah, Anything's the possible. Let's, exa the exact line let's the settle team, down. You sort of the center of the fairway. I hate um, really that fast tempo totally animation glitch. This is about it's so nice stupid. For that second shot. This is another difficult green. A little disappointed well in EA in general. One I mean, this one's also going to run in out into the rough, but as we saw on this hole yesterday, rough isn't that bad. A little right disappointed distance. in EA. Obviously, you know, we had the, the major patch update too when the PGA Championship was out, and then they announced the next uh, season would be starting for the US Open, and we got literally no patch notes. There was nothing. There was just the new course. There was the new graphics for the US Open. There was maybe three new shop items, and that was it. There was no bug fixes. There was no new clothing options. There was, it it's a little disappointing shot, because again, we talked about it when like. I did the review Still for solid. the second we one, that I didn't want this game to just get forgotten. And, had great conversion on putts like and I want to see those with every new season. And this is the first time where that, opportunities. There's it's now the first season where they haven't added anything, and now I'm thinking I kind of can see this game getting a little bit forgotten about, which sucks, but I hope they prove me wrong. That died to the left. So at the hole, about four feet to the hole, it just started diving to the left, but another par putt here. 20 to remain at 23 under par for the Open Championship. The galleries are going to start getting very large here, ladies and gentlemen. The pressure is surely going to be put on myself. As Hovland gets to 18 under through 16, but for us, I mean, we have three holes, three beautiful holes, three iconic holes into the clubhouse. And for the first time in a while, I feel like, again, this isn't being cocky, it's just the way I'm playing. Like, I feel like this is the first time where I know that pending any incredible issues on three of the easier holes on the course, I have myself really my first major win in EA Sports PGA Tour. Superb. It comes at one, my, well, one of my favorite, just box. only barely second behind the Masters. My dad is from England, so I know this is fantasy. I know it's a video game, but like this is my favorite here. tournament. I love this tournament second. so damn much. And to, uh, to be moments away, moments away, three holes, including the rest of this one away from potentially hoisting i killed this again but it should stop yep potentially hoisting that claret jug like so yep. many major defense. champions oh, before me fine. even if it's a video game feels Eight pretty damn cool it's been a long burn. time since you played a video game where they've had these tournaments in the game for you to chase and we've been heartbroken three times this year Wow, that's a putt and a half. But to be so close on two of them and in the top 10 on the third one, to win the players, which isn't a major, and then finally with like five weeks left on the season, or I guess like maybe even left be less before the playoffs, we have come all the way to St. Andrews. We have come all the way to Scotland. And we have competed. And now we head to the scenic 17th and 18th. entire world of golf. The only thing that I wish this game had more is when you win these majors, if it actually, I actually don't know if they have like a major celebration. I just know the celebrations in the game are a little bit cheesy. Like it's the same thing where your guys like, and that's it. It's like, nah, it'd be sick if like there was like a, a presentation, especially for like the green jacket, which there could be. We haven't won it yet. We don't know. But another pretty solid drive here, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean, that's been the name of the game for us this, this weekend. I felt like driving was a little crazy first few days. Driving and wedges have been absolutely lights out. Reading everything to almost perfection. Playing the wind to almost perfection. Putting has been... There's been moments where it's been absolutely brilliant and moments where it's been just good enough. And now we get another beautiful shot, which is going to be about five feet away for another birdie. And I mean, smile on young man, because now... We have this putt to get to 24 over and e under, and even with a blow up hole, it is almost all but sealed as we'll make that bad walk over the bridge after our tee shot. 
squarely in the 67 for Victor Hovland. It was a great weekend by him. He has shown up so much this year, but home now with a royal and ancient behind the green. Yes, come on, boys and girls. I'm hyped so much right now. Let's go. If you guys are watching this video and you're not subscribed and you're one of the 90% of people that are watching me win my first major, click that damn subscribe button. Let's get all the way to 500 during this video. And I'm going to grip it and rip it and give these massive galleries, these massive fans, something to cheer about. But this is a final tee shot of our 2023 Open Championship. He gives a little nod. He knows it's good. Wow, dude. Yes. What an unbelievable way, tournament. It is in the at 18, to go from 3 under, 3 under to a whopping 8 under to be even more so on day 4. I feel like a broken record, but this is exciting, guys. There it is. The patrons are about to witness their newest major champion. We have climbed Iona. through the yes, grueling re weeks of the well, PGA Tour. The tee, but here we are I mean, look the at this green, though. Holy shit. A piece of land that's fraught with enough history to earn its own biblical surname. That's actually not a great flop shot. <laughs> that's a pretty poor effort there. Oh, maybe a little bit of nerves kicked in there. A little, little bit. And as the sun sets away. here... As the sun sets here in St. Andrews, this... Can you hear the bagpipes? Those might be ambulances as well. There was bagpipes, but those might be ambulances as well. All right, well, as most, as most major winners do, we miss our birdie putt. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... Here we are at one of the, the most prestigious places on the planet, the home of golf, and we have a one foot tap in yes, to win the whole damn thing. From being on the outside looking in to a big lead. As yes, watch, a 62 anyway, round this round four. Feel like this oh, a, a 10 under. Frankie Ladies and really gentlemen, the emotion. You can see it written let's on go. Face. What do you think it's like? Well, something yes. that I, I got close to, Rich, but uh, never, ever had that opportunity just to actually... Oh, it's a new! Uh, you're in a special league. Uh, I always looked at people that won major championships. Let's go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Hell yes. All the hours that you practiced. Um, the things that you've done when other people wanted you to go out and have dinner. It's all come to fruition, and it's all... We did it, ladies and gentlemen. On the final major, trophy. we secure so our first ever For major win out at St. Andrews. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner is saying, we'll see you next time. On Let's EA go. Sports. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. All the majors for season one of our career mode have officially come and have officially left as the music always blasts in your ear after. And we got the job done on the last possible moment, securing our first ever major win there it is it all started with this one finishing tied for second then it then we went on to the 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 pga and we got we we got second i don't know why i don't know what the hell is going on with this the, all the leader everything is so messed up everything is so messed up but we finished second it says we're even again then we cannot went on and we went to the us open where we finished ninth after a pretty solid battle with the country club out in brookline and then we've climbed all the way through the beautiful Kiwi, the beautiful Dominican, the main classic, and we arrived at St. Andrew's doorstep, and we have claimed our first ever Claret Jug and our first ever Major. Now we head out for a few of these filler tournaments. We're probably going to do all of them again as quick play because it's a lot of fun. And then we will turn our sights to the first event of the FedEx Cup. The FedEx St. Jude Championship begins our playoffs Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. That was an absolute blast. I can't believe I pulled that off. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, we're very, very close to 500. You guys have been crushing it. I can't thank you guys enough. And that one was for you guys. We grinded it through and we got it done. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll catch you back here for these next three videos. And then we'll get ready for the playoffs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.